every kid should have the chance to feel that the whole world is open to them. You know, I think about the state of the world right now, growing inequality, massive challenges for the planet's sustainability. The solution has to start in our classrooms. And so that's my life's purpose, to develop the leadership that we need um, to change the system and, and ensure that it works for kids. My parents, who didn't have a tremendous amount of money or anything, made it a huge priority to buy a house in a community that had really strong public schools so that my brother and I could have an excellent education. I got to university and just realized how differently prepared we all were. And you know, really coming to understand that this country that I had thought was a land of equal opportunity really wasn't one. Our generation was called the me generation and supposedly we all wanted to go work on Wall Street and make a lot of money. The issue was not the generation, but rather the recruiters who were banks and consulting firms just banging on our doors, asking us to commit just two years to work in their firms. And so I thought, why not recruit people as aggressively to commit just two years to teach in under-resourced urban and rural public schools? And the minute I thought of it, I became completely obsessed. Everywhere I went, people said, this is a great idea. It'll never work because college students will never want to teach in urban and rural areas. 2,500 people responded within three or four months. We pulled together a group of experienced teacher educators and asked them to design the training institute. That was the beginning of the journey. We started seeing five years into the Teach for America journey just how influential those two years were. The alumni, you know, 60% of them were staying in schools. Another 20% were going to study and work in other fields in education. And we started realizing what potential lies in that group and thinking all the more about how to support their ongoing leadership development journeys. I started meeting people from different countries who were just determined that something similar needed to happen in their countries, and they were coming and, and asking for help. I heard about Wendy Cobb, and I went into her office and I said, you know, could something like this work in India? We had a lot of questions at that point. Will anyone join the fellowship? Will we have impact in, in schools? How will we even find our schools? And Wendy came here, and I remember we went together to schools, we went together to colleges, we talked to employers. And at the end of the trip, she said, I came prepared for massive differences. What I wasn't prepared for were the similarities. The week I spent in India, it was just so illuminating. The circumstances of the kids who were growing up in Mumbai were so similar to the circumstances of the kids in the South Bronx in New York City. And it's what led me to realize that if we could find a way to pursue this together across the world with brilliant people like Shaheen in such diverse contexts, adapting the approach, but also learning from each other, that we could move so much more quickly. One thing I knew was that this would take local ownership, entrepreneurship, people who deeply understand their local context. And so that's what informed the design of Teach For All as a network of independent, locally rooted organizations with a global organization that would be all about building communities among teachers, alumni, staff members, having global resources and knowledge banks that people can tap into. I had not been planning to become a teacher. I decided to give two years to Teach First because I wanted to affect social change. And so that Teach For All experience for me changed the path of my life and my career so that I've now spent the last 17 years doing this work. The Teach For All network has been incredibly important to the school that we have built. We have 
teachers, leaders who have gone through the Teach First program in the UK, but we also have our trustees who used to be teachers but are now in different professions, who are lawyers, management consultants who are able to support us and help us. And then more broadly, we've been inspired by the kind of community leadership models in countries like India, Peru, Chile, where Teach For All partner organizations are catalyzing leaders to affect change in their communities. When I go back, I feel so just lucky and so privileged to have a chance to see meaningful change over time. This is such a long game, but a few decades in, you do see systems move. And so that's the thing that most, most strikes me, will make a meaningful difference and, and, and even in some small way put the world on a, on a different trajectory because millions more kids will have more of the opportunities they need to then shape a better future for, for themselves and for all of us.